Hey guys, welcome back to my wood shop. A little while back, you guys may have seen the video I done on the unboxing assembly of this Harbor Freight 17 inch drill press. Well, today we're going to add a few upgrades to that thing. Just stick around if you want to see what they are. first things I wanted to do when I first put this drill press together uh, was change out this light bulb. Uh, works perfectly fine. It just, you know, to, in my opinion, it just wasn't a very nice looking light. And so I wanted to upgrade to LED. Uh, clearer light, much nicer in my opinion. And if this is something you're interested in, I'll leave a link below to that uh, Amazon page where I purchased this and I do think you have to look up E12 base bulb or something to that extent but I'll, I'll make sure in my orders later and, and let you know uh, but first thing I'm going to do I'll stop the camera install the old original light show you what it looks like and then I'll show you the new one okay so I got the old one installed back in there and we'll show you real quick what it looks like and you can see that yellow light. And like I said, it works perfectly fine. It's just not my preferred one. So let me get the LED one installed and you can see the difference. Okay, and so you can see here, which it doesn't really matter, uh, but that's the box these particular ones came in. Um, this doesn't have a particular name brand that I'm aware of, but you know, it was two of them for around seven or eight dollars had good reviews and so that's why I chose that one but we'll go ahead and get this one installed I've got it started in there we'll just cinch it up and you can see here what we're talking about very white uh, if the lights were off in here you could tell even better this lights up this whole area very nicely uh, and for the money a very nice upgrade okay so for my next upgrade we bouncing the camera around everywhere but you can see I've got this handle pulled off uh, and I said at the very beginning I wasn't too crazy about the handles I mean they, they function perfectly fine just you know not my cup of tea and luckily they are threaded so I'm going to hang on to those and you know just in case and what I'm going to do just so happen to have some walnut we're going to turn these down on the lathe and I went back and forth on how I was going to attach these whether I wanted to put epoxy on here but the more I thought about it in case I ever want to take that off I don't really want to take a risk damaging those so what I'm going to do I'm going to turn these I'm going to drill a center hole and I don't know you probably can't pick that up on camera but I've already tried it on this sample piece and you can tell here I've got that threaded to match that the threads on here so I think we'll be good as long as I drill it down far enough to go ahead and self tap those on there uh, and I'll use that for my threads for that part As you can see, I've got three blanks here, one for each handle, of course. And I went ahead and marked center on these, as close as we can get anyway. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to drill these, drill them a little extra long so I don't, you know, run into the issues threading this up. And I'll probably go ahead and get these threaded while they're still square. That way I could put an adjustable wrench on here if I need to, because I think it'd be a lot harder to do it once they're rounded. Uh, but you can see here, I've got a small drill press vise we're going to lock that in there and get these drilled then we'll run over to the lathe
Okay, so as you can see, we've got our three handle blanks here. I've got them centered and drilled. The next thing I'm going to do is use the handle itself here, the threads, as the tap. I've got some taps uh, up here. Unfortunately, I checked the thread size. I don't have one that's this exact size. And the wood's, you know, soft enough to where I could put this on there as long as I get it started right uh, and get it tapped all the way up, and that should be fine. Uh, so let's get started on that. Okay, as you can see, we've got her tapped all the way up here. And I wasn't exactly worried too much about whether this is square or not because on a lathe I can square it up. And that's another reason I wanted to make these threads a little longer in case, you know, I didn't get it squared all the way up. Um, but either way, I think this will turn out just fine. Uh, I'll get all these tapped. Guys, we got all three of these done. Probably hard to tell, but they're not all perfectly symmetrical. It doesn't matter though. Uh, I think they're gonna fit my hands a lot better. Uh, what bothered me about this is these, how they're contoured right here. Sometimes that just irritates you when you're, when you're holding it like that. And I think when they're smoother like that, for me at least, give you a little more leverage feel better in your hand. You know, if you're going to be using this thing quite a bit, it's best to have them comfortable. So we'll go ahead and get the other two detached here and I'll attach the wooden handles on top of that. And I'll tell you, you shouldn't have to worry about those coming back off because that is quite the forearm workout, twisting those on there. So I have every confidence those are going to stay secure. So 
So guys, hopefully you can see this the way that I do, or at least the, uh, the beauty in it like I do. Because I can tell you, in my opinion, these are vastly better than those. Just the, just the way they feel. These are a little bit more bulky, but I like that. I got big hands, so it's more comfortable in my hand. And as a lot of you say, you know, you're in the shop all the time. You're going to be looking at this, and I think this looks much better. That is a much cleaner look. So anyway, we're on to our final pro project in the upgrade of this drill press. So let's get started on that one. So for the final project, I wanted to add a drill press table. Now, I will say I really, really like this drill press. I'm glad I went with this one. Uh, it's got a lot of nice features. I love everything about it for the most part. And so my improvements are mostly minor, uh, more quality of life things. Uh, and this final one, I went back and forth on. Uh, but the, by the time I looked at building materials, T-tracks, everything I'd need to build a drill press table, I could have bought one of these cheaper ones. Now that's not to say it's perfect either. Uh, but I went with a Win brand drill press table pre-made. And there's one big drawback. And I didn't really know by looking at the picture if it would hold me back or not. Uh, and, it, and it will still work just fine. But... Let me get this situated here. The big thing is, you can see it's it's a decent sized table. Uh, now, had I build it, I would have went a little bigger, uh, but I still think this one will be fine. The only drawback with this one in my opinion is you can see this cutout. Now when you set this down on the table, I would prefer to have everything covered up as far as the table goes and you can see a big void in the back. So my improvement is not only this table, but we're going to improve the table itself. And my plan is I don't have any of this I can't remember what the name of it is, uh, but my plan is to take some of the material I do have, kind of build this out around this so that it covers the whole thing and there's a fence that goes on here and this clamps down underneath. So that is our next project. Uh, but like I said, this one for the cost of materials and everything, I could get this and Save a few bucks. Hopefully we can modify this to make it work for our needs. So let's get started. So guys, hopefully you can see that on there. I've just come through here and laid a piece of three-quarter plywood underneath here. And I'm going to trace this out. Now this, this is not quite as thick as this. But I may have to build it up or something like that. Either way, I think it's going to be good. And probably, I've not made my mind up yet, but I think we're going to probably do uh, biscuit slots here so that this can attach. And this little orange piece that goes around the back, I'll probably be trying to remove that, you know, just so we can have something good to attach to. At least we'll, we'll cut this off on the back side if we can. Uh, and then to make it look a little better, I think I've got some black spray paint. Once I get it to where I need it to, I'll spray paint it black and then we'll attach it. But first, we're set up over here at the bandsaw and I've got a quarter inch blade. And I'm going to have this raised up just a hair so that I got a little bit of articulation.
guys we got this thing all painted up you can see here it's black it's pretty much dry i may have to touch it up just a hair uh, but i've got some biscuit slots drilled in or excuse me uh cut into this next thing we're going to do is glue up the biscuits uh, and this thing should be just about wrapped up so let's get started Okay, so this drill table, what it consists of when you buy it new, uh, it does have a fence, hardware course, and these other pieces are actually for the tree track, T track underneath to come over and clamp down onto your table. And it comes with five of these little clamps, uh, and they generally intend you using three of them underneath uh, to clamp onto the table. I may end up using four just so it's good and secure. And then of course you can use one or two up top here just to hold down your work pieces. Uh, but right now I'm attaching the fence. And this particular fence, although it doesn't have measurements, uh, I don't know that necessarily measurements would be a big help in this, but it does have a stop block. And that would be ultra handy. And essentially all this attaches via T-Track. And that's one thing about it. Like I said, uh, it's the reason I ordered this particular one because T-Track is not cheap. And by the time I figured up buying all the T-Track, building supplies, everything I would need. I figured if nothing else I could just modify this one and get what I wanted out of it. And who knows, I may end up changing out later on, but for now I think this will suit me just fine. So guys, we got her done. We, we're at the end of this project. You can see we've got the handles on here and they're looking good. In my opinion, we've got the light on here, good and bright LED. And as you can tell here, we finished up the drill press table. And you can tell my little modification there with the plywood on it, had to add that in with the biscuits. Uh, and that, that worked out pretty good. Uh, I've got the clamps on the bottom. It seems to be holding this nice and secure. It's good and slick on top and the reason I wasn't worried about here uh, rarely will I be going back that far but I wanted some kind of support so it doesn't bother me that it's you know slightly different shade of color and it's not the same laminate material as this uh, but I got the clamps on here they're you know clamps underneath that are holding it I did go four underneath uh, and this fence you can adjust it there are some measurements here stop block uh, either way, just a few minor little fixes here, in my opinion, improves the functionality of this drill press tremendously. Uh, and I'm, I know it's going to be things I'm going to use for years to come. And that's a good thing about having a shop. You know, if, if you find something uh, that's maybe not working for you, uh, you've got the know-how to fix that. So either way, I thank you for joining me on this video. Hopefully. This is something you might be interested in. You know, want to build one of these or buy one and modify it. Either way, I appreciate you watching, and we'll see you on the next video.